Good morning. Praise the Lord. Today, 13th July, we'll talk about an apostle of love. James 2, 5 says, Has not God chosen those who are poor in the eyes of the world to be rich in faith and to inherit the kingdom? I just want to read it to you again. Has not God chosen those who are poor in the eyes of the world to be rich in faith and to inherit the kingdom? Robert Chap Chapman was a young man who believed in the above verse and thought that the poor need the gospel preached to them. His ambition was to work among the poor. He was brought up in a very prestigious, wealthy family with a luxurious house filled with a staff of servants. When he was 20, he was attracted towards Jesus Christ and committed himself to his work. Though he was a successful lawyer, he left everything, sold all his positions, gave away his fortune and turned his back on the status and prestige of his legal practice. Chapman moved to a slum area in England to reach the downtrodden people. He lived among drunkards, filthy, diseased people and poverty. Yet he ministered to the people constantly and they were always welcome to come to his home. He said, there are many who preach Christ, but not so many who live like Christ. My great aim will be to live Christ. His relatives and friends were perplexed by his sacrificial lifestyle. Hospitality became an important part of his ministry. This hospitality shown by a bachelor was designed to teach the guests about the life of faith and of service to the Lord's people. He taught them several practical ways of life. The virtue for which Robert Chapman was best known was love. Christ taught his disciples that their lives must be above the average if they were going to make an impact for him. We see this fulfilled in the life of Chapman. May we take it our ambition to be true, truly spiritual believers in our generation. We should learn to love the poor like Chapman. Let's pray. Lord, thank you Lord for teaching us about such people who live above average. Please help us to think of them and try to be like them. In Jesus' precious name I ask. Amen. God bless you.